Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 7 of this car dealership. Let's get started. So in the last video, we were able to, to create the service bay and then the wash bay and then the wash bay storage. Now we're going to continue working on this. Specifically on this area, um, we're going to create a lift and then some parts room and then sprinkle room electrical room and so forth so now I'm gonna select the interior wall CS and then here we're just going to close this off we can add in the tool room right here and then we're going to extend this one we're going to have around 1500 from here so that we could have some exit and then for the sprinkle room sprinkle room um, we're going to have it as around 2200 but the height will be changed so this will be around 5000 and then we're going to extend this one again and we will have around 30 3300 for the electrical room and then we're going to have some space here for parts and then for advisor as well so here we're going to have this one extend around 3500 and then close it off right here we'll have parts there and then we could close this off so this one we could trim and extend and then we could have some some areas here for washroom so CS on that we're gonna have close right here and then we could have this one open like that and then we could give this one around 1500 and then pull this one back and then we're going to have this one trim off and then the this one trim off so sl so split and then trim on those and then with this we could just maybe extend this um, we could just add a door right here um, so let's just add this one we have some part storage here a door right here we have an office here washroom and then electrical rooms and sprinkler room will be located right here we could have this one facing this from the outside and then we also have an exit door right here and then we'll have an area for for right here um, we could also have this one to have a curtain wall so on this spot on this area so click on wall and then curtain wall CS so just click it right here curtain wall right here and then pull it back right there just go to click modify and then cut geometry And then here, we're going to add in the garage door again, right about here, so that it could um, exit the cars right here. So we could basically just copy this so that we know that this is an exit for those. 
so we're just giving out some of that there I know we have some walls here but we're probably gonna knock that off because this is another um, area of service area and then re repair area as well and then we're going to add some areas here for customer lounge and then here like I said we have some parts and then tool room we're gonna add those um, I think the best way is ju just to add the door right here um, we could also have a garage door for the tool room so that it's convenient enough to have its space out so we have a door and then the garage door in order for them to just uh, take those out right here um, and then maybe it's a good idea to put some um, some room tags in order for us to determine each and every one of them um, for this we could have the cars right here so let's delete this um, walls now and then we could have we could just ha add um, more of this and then we're going to delete the area or um, have those boundaries for the uh, for those so I'm just gonna copy so that we know that this is the one that the cars enter to and then we have some stations right here that will uh, repair so it's like an assembly line of cars and then at the same time we're going to add doors right here AL we're going to align them and then here we're going to close this off so CS on this we're going to add a wall here and also another wall right here um, we're just basically creating a gar garbage room right here in the middle so CS this will be around 6,000 I know this is too much but we have this space SL and then we're going to trim this out and then here we have our car wash right here and then we're gonna have the same garage door and then I'm probably going to add some detailed lines right here so thin line So this one is just to represent the car wash. And then here we have the car wash path right here. 
and then we could add in something like that and then the ro rollers on the side so just as a big circle to create those rollers I'm going to copy this and I'm going to add it on that and then CS on this we're going to connect them all together and I think that's good enough simple lines simple squares and circle uh, and then it will just give it um, some detail there if we want to add in more we could put in filled region so this filled region will give some hatching and then I think this is good enough if we could just add this one right about here so just a little bit more information a little bit more hatching and then here garage so garbage and then we're gonna put in some some right here so that they could access the garbage onto this side we're going to align them and then we could have in a door as well we're going to add a door right here on the side space bar and then we could have a door right here as well and then a door here in the middle so we have those opening and then let's have an opening right here and then we could have another detail line to represent the big um, those big garage containers or garbage containers So I'm happy with that. Then car wash bay, wash bay, and then some service and repair. Repair examination, car examination or whatever. And then we will have the sprinkler room and some service area here. Um, we could put in some lounge so we're gonna add some chairs right here and push it right there and then we could have this one as well copy and we could just add it right here we could have the office small office that's good enough and then we could have a washroom here ok 
so I'm using CS and I'm just adding those right there selecting those CS again and then some lines we're going to use some lines then we could have some some of this right here and then let's go to our 3d and I want to double check all the walls right here I just want to select each and every one of them by holding on shift or control and then selecting each and every one of them. I want them to be set up at top constraint level 2. And then we're going to have, we're going to add basically a wall there, or sorry, uh, a roof there. And then this one should be at the same thing as well. Just level 2. And then we're going to just make it smaller on this part. Um, or we're, we're just going to have that one added on here at the same thing. Level 2. This one, you can leave it like that but the garbage level 2 is fine so that's done and then we're gonna leave some this some of this will be a little bit smaller so I'm gonna select all of this this will be level 2 as well and then we're just going to leave it like that and then the, here we're going to have a second floor so before we do that we need to add in floors around here so let's go to architecture click on floor edit type duplicate let's put in floor number one press ok edit change it to 200 and then the material and then here we could just go and add in some of the flooring right here um, or we could add in stone so either way I'm gonna put stone and then most of the time this uh, this are concrete I'm going to just put it from the inside like that and as you can see I'm just um, adding it area by area for now because it's easy to change at one later on then let's trim and extend here and then trim and extend right here and then let's add this one as well onto this side so just one big um, floor and then we can always change this later on. So 
so that's how I usually add floors on this kind of big um, project everybody is squared anyway so might as well just add those and then trim it out trim it out later on I'm going to delete this part align this one and from the inside and then trim this one right here and then trim this one right here and then if we miss anything Revit will let us know here we could just delete this one and uh, so that we could just extend this and then we could just trim this and trim that and align this one right here AL align it from the inside so once you're done click on finish and we have our floor added and then we could just um, change up all of this later on So we're going to stop here for now and continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.